Hi all, Ziv from Elementor here. Today we'll go over the absolute and fixed custom positioning settings in Elementor 2.5. These advanced positioning methods are especially for us pixel perfect enthusiasts giving us freedom to create stunning designs like this page here. They allow us to drag widgets to any location on the page regardless of the grid. And it's very intuitive. Just point anywhere on the screen and simply drag the widget there. We can also set widgets to have a fixed position and place it anywhere we like. So it will scroll alongside your user's journey on your website. Cool! So let's dive in and see how it's done. But before going into the design, let's go over the basics and learn about absolute and fixed positioning. As you can see, we have a clean design that will help us understand the difference between absolute and fixed positioning. Let's start with the pink cube in the column on the right. I'll set it to absolute. Go to advanced. Custom Position and choose Absolute. Pay attention that the default width of an absolute element is automatically inherited from the column it's in. We can simply resize it like this. Now let's move it around a bit. As you can see it's easy and fun. We can also get very detailed by using the horizontal and vertical offset sliders. The horizontal and vertical orientation options allow us to align the cube as well. Pay attention, custom positioning is not considered best practice for responsive web design and should not be used too frequently. Building the page smartly by using a grid design with some cool absolute and fixed elements is the best way to go. An absolute object is relative to the column it's in. This means that although we can move it anywhere we like, it will stay at the same point relative to the column. For example, moving it outside the column does give the appearance of being positioned at the bottom right corner of the screen, but when we start scrolling, you see that it stays at the same point relative to the column. Now for the fixed position. Go to the yellow circle and, like before, in custom positioning, choose Fixed under Position. As you can see, the circle moved. This is because the default width for a fixed element is automatically inherited from the viewport. We can still resize and change the position freely, like we did before, the only difference is that the position of the circle is now fixed to the points we set, giving it this sticky scrolling effect so it will scroll alongside your user's journey on your website. Great! Now that we understand the difference between absolute and fixed, we are ready to create our design. So let's go back to it. And as you can see, we've removed all the images from the right column. In the left column, we already styled the heading, text and button. So let's start by adding an image widget to the right column. I'll choose this ramp image. Now go to advanced, custom positioning and choose absolute. Let's move it around and change the size too. Here is perfect. Let's duplicate the image. Don't worry, the image is here. It's just duplicated on top of the first image. It's already set to absolute as well. Now go ahead and change the image. Set the right size and move it to where you like. Let's add a third image. Same as before, duplicate, change the image, resize it and place it anywhere you want. I'll go ahead and add some more. As you can see, it's simple and really cool. Now let's see how we create a fixed element. Add an icon widget to the left column, style it a bit. Now go to advanced, custom positioning and choose position fixed. I'll go ahead and move it freely to the exact point I want. Great! Now it's fixed and will stay at the same point when scrolling through the page. So let's hit preview and see it in action. As you can see, all of our absolute elements are at the right place and the fixed button always stays at the bottom left corner when scrolling. We also added a cool register pop-up to the fixed button. Cool! Now one last thing. The custom positioning is responsive so you can change the position of the elements per device. Let's go back to the editor and change the responsive mode to mobile. We can freely change the place and size of the elements so they exactly fit our mobile design. Cool! Well, that's it. Now you know how to use the absolute and fixed custom positioning settings in Elementor 2.5. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tips and tutorials. See you later!